The objective of this lab is to measure the speed of the sound using sonar, which means sonic navigation and ranging. Sonar is the way that submarines manage to figure out what else is in the ocean with them by transmitting sound pulses and then receiving their reflections back off other objects in the ocean. In our case, we are going to use the Firefox app on a smartphone to measure the time delay between a transmitted and reflected sound wave. The way this is going to work is that Firefox will go ahead and transmit a sound pulse at some given time t equals zero. The sound wavefront will then spread out from the phone. Here the sound wavefront is shown as the black line moving away from the phone, and it's curved because the sound spreads out in all directions. The wave will move across the room and eventually collide with a wall. It will hit that wall and then reflect back. This is basically an echo. The sound wave will come back to the phone and then the phone is going to use the microphone to detect the signal from the reflected pulse. It will arrive after some time t. The Firefox app will produce data that looks like this. This is a graph that shows amplitude in AU. Here, AU means arbitrary units. And so this is the amplitude of the sound wave that's received. And it's plotted as a function of delay time, or delay here in seconds. This is essentially giving you how much noise the, sound, the phone is hearing after it transmits the pulse. The peak corresponds to when the phone has received the most sound from when the pulse was transmitted, and we'll learn how to measure the delay time precisely, but in this case we measure it at 0.004875 seconds. We will measure the speed of sound using a kinematic analysis. We note that the distance to the wall is actually half the total distance that the sound wave travels. It goes to the wall and then comes back again. And that total distance is just the speed of sound times the delay time between the, when the pulse is transmitted and when it's received. So the distance from the wall ends up being half of the speed of sound times the delay time. And we'll use this relationship in the context of a linear regression. What we'll do is we'll measure several different distances and delay times. Uh, we'll gather at least 10 separate data at four different distances. And if we plot the distance to the wall on the vertical axis and the delay time on the horizontal axis, we can then go ahead and carry out a linear fit where the slope of that line is going to be half the speed of sound. So in this experiment, we'll go ahead and collect all of those data, and your assignment will then to carry out, collect the data, do the analysis, and then submit it in a full lab report. Uh, you'll follow the standard instructions, including the four-page limit. Since we are operating remotely, you should feel free to discuss all aspects of the lab report with your peers, but you will need to author your own lab report and do your own analysis. To account for the fact that you're working with people other than just a standard lab partner, uh, we are asking that you include an acknowledgement section in your lab report. Even if you don't work with or collaborate with anyone, you need to state that you have no acknowledgments that you're given. Otherwise, give credit where credit is due and thank the people for the knowledge and ideas that they contributed to your lab report. For this experiment, you will need a smartphone running the Firefox app and a flat surface such as a wall or ceiling. You will also need a method of measuring distances. If you don't have a ruler or a tape measure or something, you can search up printable rulers on the internet and print one off onto a sheet of paper. The first thing you will need to do is measure the distance from the wall, usually from the middle of the wall, to where you want to hold your smartphone. When you're there, you can go ahead and collect data. From there, you can go ahead and analyze it, as we'll show you in a minute. For the whole experiment, you will need to repeat this three times at different distances. You need to be about 70 centimeters or more for the wall for your phone to work well. To collect data for the sonar experiment, go ahead and open the Firefox app on your phone. This will give you several different experiments that you could do with your phone sensors we will want to select Sonar. In Sonar, we have several different modes and we want to choose Timing. With this, we are ready to collect data, focusing on the top graph, which will plot the amplitude of signal versus the delay time. 
When we're ready to collect data, we'll point it towards a flat wall and press the play button. Once a clear spike emerges, we will press the pause button. Here we are going to examine that first clear spike that we see. If you click on the top graph, you can zoom in, then you use your fingers to pan and zoom and in on the data. Go ahead and select the Pick Data button to choose the data at the top. This will give you the X and Y values of that coordinate. We can go ahead, select that data, and use that in our, inf use that in our analysis. Here, we would have a delay time of 0.005 seconds. You will then go ahead and use this data point for the delay time and the distance that you measured as one of your 10 data that you need for this lab. You can then go ahead and repeat this at at least four different distances. And that's it. If you need any help, reach out to the TAs through their online help sessions, post to the forum, or email fizzugl at ualberta.ca. Good luck.